Hey everybody, so today we're gonna to be looking at a new unit. We're gonna be starting dividing fractions and we'll be reviewing just a bit about what we know about fractions. Remember that our fractional parts are equal shares or equal sized portions of a whole or a unit. So let's just say that this hexagon here represents our whole or unit, it's one. I'm just gonna go ahead and label that here and that way we know what it represents. So this is going to be one. And so I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to write one. Here we go. So if this is our whole unit, let's try and explore some other of the pattern blocks to see what is the relationship of the pattern blocks to the hexagon. So let's start with this red trapezoid. See how many red trapezoids we can fit inside of our hexagon. Um, look at that, I can flip it around. Aha, uh -huh. so what are you noticing? That's right, we can fit two trapezoids inside the hexagon. So that tells us that if we can fit two, that each of these trapezoids are one half in relation to our unit one. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this red trapezoid as one half. Here we go. Okay, so now we know that every red trapezoid in our problem is going to be one half. Let's try another shape. What do you guys think we should do next? How about this uh, blue rhombus? Okay, you can fit one. Hmm, I'm not sure if I can fit this. Maybe if I turn it, it might work. All right, so it looks like I can fit three blue rhombuses inside the one hole. So that tells me that these are thirds. Remember, when I write this as a fraction, I'm going to write it as one third tells me that I have three parts that are going to make this whole. So our blue rhombuses will be a third. Boom. Okay. What's next? Okay, starting again with our whole unit of one. What do you think we should explore next? Hmm, how about these green triangles? You can fit one, two, three. Oh, how many triangles do you think will fit? Got to move this around. Oops. Four. Five, and one more, you got it. We can fit six green triangles. So our denominator is going to be a six. So each green triangle will be one six. Okay, so that is the six. And this is a third. Okay, so we've identified some fractions in relation to our whole unit. So let's try to work on some problems, okay? Our first problem here is three divided by one half. So let's just say hypothetically that I have three pizzas and I wanna see if I have three pizzas, how many half pieces can fit so I can make shares. So let's see. I'm dividing a half, how many halves can fit into a third? Are you starting to see a pattern? Right, so when we work with math, it's all about trying to figure out patterns. When we can see patterns, it helps us become more efficient with doing the math. All right, you guys, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
six of the red trapezoids can fit into our hole. So three divided by one half equals six. Okay, let's try another problem. This time we're gonna start with two and a half. So at first I will build two and a half. Now our problem is how many sixths can fit into two and a half, okay? So remember our six are these green triangles so it can fit one, two, three, okay, I can fit three and one half. Remember there are two halves in every hole. So what do you guys think? That means I should be able to fit how many, oops, six, right? So we can then assume that this will be six and the last uh, hole I can also fit six. So let's see, I have six here. This was is also gonna be six. So six and six is 12, plus three more is 15. Now, you may have uh, learned the standard algorithm for dividing with, this is called a mixed number. So I'll show you the algorithm so you can see why this works. We multiply the denominator by the whole number, so two times two is four, and then we add the numerator, which is five. So our improper fraction is five over two. And then the algorithm is to inverse or multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of one six is six over one. So then we multiply across. Five times six is 30. And two times one is two. So our answer is 30 over two. And as you know, this is an improper fraction. I can divide two, remember we always, when we see the denominator, we always want to divide two into 30 is 15. So we actually came to the same exact answer when we used our visual model. Okay, kind of fun, kind of cool. Well, let's see what happens when we divide a fraction by a fraction. Might get a little tricky. So let's start with one half. Okay, my red trapezoid. And I wanna see how many thirds can fit into a half. Hmm, I know I can fit one, but how do I figure out the rest? That is what we need to figure out. Well, let's see. So this is one. And then if we were to take this red trapezoid here and put it over, you can see that it is gonna be about half. And I'll draw a line here to illustrate. There, right there. That's where it is. So we can fit one hole and about a half of a blue rhombus. See that? It is about half. It is exactly half. Ta da! So the answer is one and one half. And that makes sense because the um, blue rhombus, which is a third, is less than a red 
trapezoids. So we should be able to fit one hole and a half. But what happens in our last problem here, we have one third divided by one half. So we wanna see how many halves can fit into a third, okay? So here's our third. Let's see how many halves can fit into a third. Already I know it's gonna be less than one. It's gonna be less than one whole. So notice what happens when I draw this line here. Hmm, making any connections? Look again, what happens if I draw this line here? Right, all right, it is two thirds. Awesome. And again, if I was to do the standard app uh, uh, the standard algorithm for dividing this fraction here, I would just see one third multiplied by the reciprocal, which is two over one, not equals two thirds. So yes, we can learn about dividing fractions with visual models, and these are great tools. I want you to continue to explore some different shapes that we didn't talk about today. Maybe start with another shape, um, like the square, and that could be one hole and see what other fractional parts can fit into a square. So if the square is one hole, what would the purple triangle be? All right, have fun exploring with pattern blocks and thinking about fractions.